victims killed in the stabbing in Duanesburg. 37-year-old Alexandria Gomez and her son, 5-year-old Jacob Patino, died on Wednesday after police say that they were stabbed by 47-year-old Nelson Patino, the husband and father of the victims. Tonight, people came together during a vigil for the victims of that brutal attack. News 10 ABC's Connell Smith shares the impact this loss has on the tight-knit community. With candles held low and prayers being lifted up high, the town of Duanesburg remembers two lives cut short. A 37-year-old mother and her five-year-old boy who will never know his potential. Gretchen Badger was one of Jacob Patino's teacher's assistants. It's devastating, like the word I keep coming back to is unspeakable. Like this has just been, he was beautiful, he was special. And I know like all of our children are special. I love every kid I work with, um, Jacob had a really special and unique light that most kids don't and I'm going to be honest he had an empathy that most adults don't ever find and um, and a heart for everyone around him and it has been devastating um, we're still in shock the shock continues to reverberate throughout this small Schenectady County town a diner closed a church mourning a child without his classmate six-year-old Brian Reese says he would often sit next to Jacob Patino on the school bus he was really nice to me. Reese's father says trying to explain to his son why a member of his class won't be in attendance anymore was one of the more difficult things he's had to do. It hits home, you know, having a six-year-old at home, and I just, it makes you sad. And you know, honestly, I went to my office and I cried for like 10 minutes to pull myself together. Um, it, was, it was a horrible thing, and I had to go home and talk to my son about what happened. And, that was a challenge in itself, and how does a parent deal with that? In Dwaynesburg, Connell Smith, News 10, ABC. New tonight.